Hello and welcome to David's World. Today we're going to talk food. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you this. It's defrosted now. This is 400 grams of turkey sliced already and that's just the weight of the meat not the weight of the gravy that, that is in here now I bought this in what end you know the same place I bought the amazing kebab from that was 250 now this was from the freezer shop it's called Greenways and it sells items that they pick up from everywhere including certain uh, very large and very posh locations beginning with M yeah yeah and uh, other places begin with W uh, supermarkets yeah and a one beginning with S uh, it has some products in so this item may have come in a box when it originally was sold gets the box took off and then they stick a, a little white sticker label on to what it is now, this is 400 grams of turkey. Need to put it down because it is still cold. And I will be making two days worth of meals out of that, so I'm going to be getting 200 grams of turkey in my meal. And this was £2.50. So that is £1.25 worth of meat at 200 grams for the portion. If I was to make it last for four meals, or if you're feeding it to a family, then you're looking at 100 grams of meat each, and divide into pound 50 by four, you are what, coming to about what, 60, 70 pence? Nowhere near the price of the one pound 89 of certain box meals that will provide you with 36 grams of meat there is one there's there is a one which is nine percent meat in a 400 gram box that is 36 grams of meat and it is chicken and it is over a pound so looking at the price of this this would make 11 of those boxes in meat weight alone so, all we have to do to add to this is to add veg and potato. That's easy to do and not going to be at the cost of what it would be if I just went and bought one of those meals. So with that, what am I going to do with this? Well, I have some peas, so I can add a portion of peas. I can order a portion of carrots. If I want, I can also add a portion of... Uh, maybe sprouts or cauliflower but my potatoes that are going with these I have some sliced and seasoned um, wedges which can be done in the halogen and take about eight nine minutes to do for both sides to heat them all the way through and that would be the potato part of it and then would put the meat we have the gravy already in there so we don't have to make any gravy so therefore we can make up a dinner with this and the veg it will be a very big dinner it's not going to be 400 grams in weight so good to have veg veg is good for you you're always told to have a nice good amount of veg and this is what we can do now if I just went out and bought the £1.89 meal, I would be having about 50 grams of peas, 50 grams of, of carrots, maybe 100 grams, 120 grams of potato, and about 40 grams of meat. And after it, I will be hungry. Because when you look at it on the plate, it doesn't look a lot. Now these meals are fine for more people who are maybe more elderly, maybe who work, but then if you work you want a proper substantial meal when you come back. 
if you haven't already eaten when you were out at work and you haven't stopped off at a fish and chip shop or any other takeaway for your dinner. So you want a decent sized meal when you come back. Or you're just going to be hungry and you're just going to go back and eat biscuits and crisps and chocolate and sweets and whatever you find in your cupboard because you will not be full from it. So we need to make this meal impressive and filling. And if we fulfill both of those things then we won't eat anymore. But this is Saturday when I'm doing this. It's getting a bit late, it's five o'clock, so I'm going to be doing this for tonight and for my Sunday dinner tomorrow. I can change whatever veg I want in and out. I can add more of one and less of another. Or I could just miss out a certain veg. I could add Yorkshire pudding. If you remember, if you buy a 50 pence bag of Yorkshire pudding with 15 Yorkshire puddings in, you're looking at just over three pence of Yorkshire pudding. So you're not adding a, a pile amount. Even, even if you were doing this for a family of four and saying, well, that's 50 pence for Yorkshire pudding. That isn't a lot. There is very little difference between Yorkshire puddings on the ground that if you take it, the ingredients that make them up are virtually the same. What does may or may differ is the type of oil they may cook them in, the length of time they cook them, and the size of tray they may use to cook the size of Yorkshire pudding that you get. But there is not a lot of difference between them. It depends on how you want to cook them. They can be put in the halogen, they just need to be warmed through. They can be done in the microwave, that will make them soft for a while. Yeah. So, halogen will make them hard and crispy, microwave will make them soft. Depends on how you like them. But, they will be hot. You can put them in the microwave first, do them maybe 30 seconds, then pardon them off. In the halogen. Do either of those. But we are looking at we will be having a decent sized dinner for less than what we would pay if we bought it individually and a lot less than going out somewhere and maybe buying it cooked and then coming back. Because by the time you've brought it back it's going to have lost some of its temperature and you're going to need to warm it back up again if you're getting it from any of the takeaways that do dinners uh, when you can bring them home. Even McDonald's gets cold coming from McDonald's and getting delivered to you. So you might still have to warm it a little bit. So with that, we look at people that go out and buy their dinner and get it in and then they have to warm it back up again. Or you buy an individual dinner with very little meat in it, very little a mixture of veg and it may contain veg that you do not like so do it yourself much easier you know we're not going to be dirty in any more pans or any more plates than what we would be you know the amount is very small but we will end up with a much more filling and much more nice looking on your plate dinner So with that, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for your notification. I will see you on the next video, so bye for now.